more just about the lifestyle, right? So we come here every day ready to go and we're getting the nutrition that we need to fuel our bodies because if you don't take care of your body in the first week and you know week two creeps along and you're getting slower and you're feeling weak and then week three and four and five and then eventually it's all about building our bodies to withstand the hockey in the season because your body takes a beating and if you don't take care of it then so I know all the boys here just we love coming to the rink I mean we're all here for a reason right we all want to get to the next level well uh, to start with when I came here I, I was a little bit nervous and didn't really like have the confidence yet and I gained that by coming here every day. Everyone was being positive, helping you out uh, on the ice and off the ice and uh, it really helped my game develop into a youth and then I got to junior A team and got to have a great year in Kirkland. It's helped me a lot, it just teaches me how like not to be late and to be on time. That's what coaches love to see. Is kids that aren't going to be late and they can rely on them. On ice, um, Jim's given me um, a lot more confidence. Um, confidence to make plays, confidence to skate the puck, go uh, make end to end rushes, make passes. Um, it's given me confidence to shoot the puck more often and it's, it's improved my game a lot. And then off the ice, Jim's taught me how to be punctual. He's taught me how to greet people, shake hands, stare into their eyes. Um, he's taught me how to have a proper conversation. And again, it's just confidence off the ice too. Talking to someone um, has just made me a better, more confident person all around. So, each one is gonna do one, come down the end and you're done. Just one, so make it good. Go. I'm Melanie Bruce. I was a British ice dance champion in 92. I skated with um, Andrew Place and we competed at the World Championships in San Francisco, the European Championships in Lausanne and the, the Olympic Games in Albeville, France. So the first 16 years of my life were dedicated to training, learning dedication in my sport. Um, so this is now something that I have been doing for the past 30 years, um, passing on all that I have learned to, to kids and, and adults even. Um, to better their skating and hockey players really need figure skaters to help them because we can really improve their, their skating to no end. So two and a half weeks into this camp we're doing great. We've got a lot of good skaters here. We just came off of a really good weekend, winning all the tournaments and the final. Um, my job here is to help these guys work on their technique. A lot of hockey players don't get the, the opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one lessons as figure skaters do. They're given a putt, they're told to get on the ice, and off they go. They're on their own. So they, they will build a lot of bad habits. So what my job is to do is to come in here and break down their skating technique and show them what I can do to help them to improve their skating on the ice, flow, speed, fluidity. Yeah, so I'll start off um, with the skating. We do a lot of uh, skating uh, with Melanie, she's great. And um, I want to improve my skating for next year, so I'll carry that in. Um, we also use Edge Boss Hockey, which is great too, working on hands, obviously getting around defenders. Um, I just want to take everything I learned from Jim here and carry forward into next year and hopefully get to the next level and I know that everyone here will do that for me. So like being on the ice every day really helps develop and get better so that will help me translate to the season uh, getting like Connor said getting in the gym working out getting stronger to be able to make hits that I don't usually make all the time and, uh, and just basically getting ready for the season putting the puck in the net. I could already see that we're already the third weekend and I see a difference in my skating. I feel quicker, I feel more agile. Uh, I think that could translate over into the game and just um, a lot of being more vocal, having our head up, a lot of the drills we do are just getting us what we need to do for the next level and I think that's very important. Attaboy, attaboy, through the line, through the line. There you go. My group of guys, the mentality that they're setting, it's right out of pro level mentality. 
They're working hard on the ice, clearly seeing what you guys do, and off the ice, whether it's working out here, even what they do at home. They ask a lot of good questions. I can see the work they're putting in every day and how they're improving every day. And you can see with these group of guys, you can see like they're trying to get to the next level and you can see the effort they're putting in to get to that next level. I sometimes don't even see this with pro guys or even varsity level guys. But with these group of guys at their age level, the maturity that they're showing as well, it's, it's really big and it's nice to see. And it's, I love working with a group of individuals who are hardworking and trying to get to that next level. This just makes it much more fun for me. Yeah, it's similar to Derek. They're a great group to train. They all listen, they all care. And it just makes our job so much easier when they really want to do everything that we're doing here. I can give them all the exercises and all the cues and they're all listening. They all get every little detail. And besides that, they're asking questions, what they can do at home if they're sore, thing, other things they can work on. And that way they improve even more, not just when they're here, but when they're outside of the rink, outside of the gym, just in life. Yeah, I think it's uh, really important what you guys are doing here. Uh, Jim and all the staff, um, everyone's really positive. It's a great place to be mentally. Um, away from the ice, I think a lot of the lessons we learn from the staff here, we can turn over into our everyday life and there's a lot of good lessons being learned and everyone here is learning, which I think is great. And on the ice, um, I mean, it's the best training I've ever had. Um, understanding that we're here to learn and develop, but there also is a sense of urgency and understanding that we do need to progress as players and what it takes to get to the next level. And we're given all the tools here to learn and we're here to learn, so I think it's great. Um, coming here for the last almost 10 years now, so many lessons I've been taught uh, from you, Jim, and from other speakers that we've had at this camp. And for me, like two things really stand out is just being a good person every day. And that's the biggest thing I've learned. Um, just being able to treat people like, like you would want to be treated. And um, it just goes such a long way, especially in the hockey world. Um, there are some bad people and if you can really be good to them you might get them back on your side and the second thing for me is just coming to work every day and just living and having fun um, this isn't work for any anybody and when we're out here having fun and guys are enjoying it it's it's unbelievable they um it's been just truly a blessing to be here for the last almost 10 years now and just to be able to wake up every day and come see you and come see the guys and just be able to like, mentor the next group of hockey players is, is really cool and um, it's something that I want to do for the rest of my life and I really think it's been special knowing you. Yeah, I think that was pretty well summed up. I think um, in terms of some of the things you maybe don't understand when you're younger and some of the things that kind of seem silly with like, when you're a young kid obviously, um, some of the public speaking stuff and some of the, you know, getting uncomfortable off the ice, not just on the ice, um, is a huge asset to have for later in life, whether you do go to university or you go into um, a career path right away. Like, um, there's a lot of engagements like that where you may not be prepared otherwise um, and may feel uncomfortable and at the end of the day might not succeed in that, that sort of avenue. Um, so I think having the opportunity to A, have established people come in and speak to you and learn from them um, on a week-to-week -week basis and then translate that into your own future is a, a huge asset. That goes along with the on-ice stuff obviously, but I think the, the biggest thing that I've um, come to understand now doing it from the other side um, and something that I think I took for granted is just like um, how much people who come here and who are here every day or are here once um, care to help these kids advance their futures, um, prepare them for life, not just for their future in hockey. Um, I think it's a huge, huge um, way to learn um, and really, really sets kids up for, for a positive future. Jim Thompson here. 
Year 24, the endless summer with the boys of summer at JT Prospects has come to an end. It's been a fantastic eight weeks. The preparation, the hard work by all the players, the family's commitment, skating out 7, 7 a.m. in the morning every morning and uh, just a major commitment by everybody. I'm, I'm honored and pleased to announce that 11 of the JT prospects this summer has, uh, they got Junior A contracts. Congratulations to all those players, to the other players, where they're going to play. You're going to be ready to play and I wish you luck and I'll be following you all. To my sponsors, Fisher Sports, Paramount Ice, King Heights Academy, uh, I thank you for everything you do here at the rink. Uh, without you know your preparation for us coming every morning, my camp would not be the same. As I said, year 24 has come to an end. I wish everybody luck next season. I thank all the families for committing to this you know eight week program. It's amazing. Um, you know we call it a way of life, culture, and at JT Prospects on behalf of Jim Thompson and all my staff, James, Stefano, Melanie. I just want to thank everybody again. Have a great season, and obviously we look forward to year 25. Thank you very much. <laughs>